we're at the end of our week now and I can say unequivocally this has been as far as sheer numbers of um, really quality trophy sized pike it's the best I have ever had ever just started it's our first morning on Miss Akuma and uh, pretty decent pike beautiful day the doctor is in once again doesn't matter where you go in the north apparently the doctor is in moments after that last fish oh we got another one here like Joe just said, forecast for fish. Um, the markings on these pike is remarkable. Just the the modeling on on their backs are just incredible. Colored fish. Wow. Another quality fish. Wow. <laughs> Another quality pike. It's not a very long video because this thing just hit literally right beside the boat. Wow, another girthy Missakuma Lake Pike on the doctor spoon. Look at In this neck down area at the south end of the lake, the wind is just pounding into it. And uh, pretty well defined neck down, about eight to 10 feet deep with some reeds on the edges. Just before I hooked this fish, we had another one that was picture worthy. Oh, it just got off. Darn it. That was a that was actually a pretty pretty good one. And another neck down here. Two casts. I just switched to a white spinner bait. There's some green weed here. First real green weed we've seen. Two casts, two quality fish. It's a very, very clear, deep, rocky lake trout lake like even most of the bays uh, with some notable exceptions most of the bays are rocky crystal clear water so we're using oh, a variety of different things but like white and more natural colors like that I think are probably a real good choice in this clear water and obviously the pike agree hey Hey. I think we got a pretty good fish on here. First cast. First cast. Yeah. Let's have a look at this fish. Oh, that's a nice one. Nothing wrong with that. Strong. Nothing wrong with that fish at all. Very nice fish. This is fun. I sit here all day. Mmm. All right. Looks like Mike's got a good one on. Right after Joe's fish. Just released it. There's a bit of a neck down here. It's 12 feet right in front of these reeds. It's an almost ideal spot. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty decent fish. Still haven't seen sign of it yet. Oh yeah, see some big head shakes. This one is on a white spinner bait. And he just inhaled that. There spinner. he is. Nice pike. Oh, oh, oh. Strong fish. Very strong. There we go. Wow. That's all right. That's sweet. Nothing wrong with that. A pretty decent fish on here. It's on a, a weedless Barney spoon. The difference between this spot and any other spot where we've caught fish, every other spot has been kind of directly adjacent to deep water, and this entire whole bay is like a shallow mud flat of like two to three feet, which we have fished spots like this before since we've been here with nothing in them to show for it, but this bay has fish. Like we, we raised a number of large fish. Yeah, we've probably taken at least a half a dozen out of here. You got to when the fish is going crazy. Oh yeah, he's having fun. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> Nothing wrong with that. No. Beauty. Okay. This bay is loaded with fish. <laughs> I know this is probably overexposed, but let's see if we can get this on film. I just raised a giant. Just exploded all over this room. Oh my god. Oh, oh I got it. I got it. I got Oh, it's off. Oh my god. I got, Oh. He hit it again. Oh my god. Oh, that was a nice fish. It's right there. Oh, 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 oh my god. Do not come to Missakuma Lake if you have a heart condition hmm. because this is heart stopping. Moments, literally moments before Joe hooked this really nice fish. He got one that uh, we tape, put the tape on and it was right on, on 40. So this is an amazing little network, uh, this part of the lake here. That is a really nice, thick fish. Um, there's a big creek arm that, that comes in. We just barely worked our way into it. These are the first two fish we hooked. That's a big, fat, thick fish. Holy cow. Okay, we're still against the shore. Messing around here. Joe just put a Band-Aid on his thumb. We just landed the last one. He just threw out the... 39.75 inches the last one. He just threw out his pink and white doctor spoon. We haven't even moved out of the spot here where we landed that last fish. Halcyon days! Halcyon days. One after another. First bay of the day. What I would classify as an A++ spot. Joe made one cast with his pink. The go-to. The go-to lure, the pink and white swirl doctor spoon. And there's the result. A chunky, hefty bike. Mm -hmm. Which, um, you know what? Like a submarine. Mr. Joe Conrad. He's sweet. This one, also on the Dr. Spoon, but the chartreuse and red five of diamonds pattern. He jumped clear out of the air to grab this thing. I missed that. I was dealing with my own little <laughs> mid-sized pike, or as we like to call them in the trade, the Toyota Camry. Come here, you. It's been a crazy morning of fishing so far. This, we, this is a pretty nice fish, actually. <laughs> What's funny? I, uh, it, this fish came in hot, chasing after the uh, doctor spoon that I'm throwing there. <coughs> Joe was in the middle of reeling his uh, spinnerbait in. And, uh, Mike says, we're probably going to get that fish. <laughs> Two seconds later, bang! Bang, yeah. We've probably caught, I don't know, like a dozen this size so far. Yeah. And there's something going on with the weather. Like, it's the first kind of good wind we've had in days. It's been blowing hard from the north, or from the, sorry, the southeast the last few days. It shifted to the north late last night, and now we have a, a light sort of northwest wind this morning and cloud cover for the first time all week and the fish are on like Donkey Kong today yeah that's the one beauty that's the one that uh, followed my lure right in that this morning is insane it's just one after another after another after another after another I can attest to that yes it's a pretty nice fish actually There he is. There he was. Well, over the inside. In the weeds. There's a little bit of vegetation down here, too. Nice fish. It's been like perfect conditions today. Once again on the doctor's spoon. Pink and white swirl, doctor's spoon. How many of these have we caught? It's crazy. It's just been 
unbelievable. This is a spot we fished before, but even on the best waters in the world, we had a strong southeast wind there. The last couple of days, there's something going on with the pressure. They're on today anyway. The duck. Okay, we're gonna about to leave our killer spot that we've just been fishing for the last hour and a half or so. This is actually the entrance to the McIntyre River, and we're about to go through this neck down where there's some pretty serious current and uh, huge deep pool below. But we're gonna work our way down. The water's flowing out of Missacuma Lake, so we're going with the current here, and we're gonna work our way down the McIntyre. It's kind of like a widening almost, not only where it, there's neck downs is there obvious current and then it's kind of like almost like small lakes but anyway here we go through the first neck down working away and heading back up to the McIntyre River. This is a big widening here. These little islands, it's all shallow and super rocky, like in tight. Just off the edge, you drop down into eight feet and I uh, saw cabbage on the graph. And instantly, I think we're gonna get a lot more than just this fish. Once again on the doctor, the pink and white doctor. The pink and white doctor is a new favorite, I think, after this trip. There we go. Nice. That was super cool. Top water magic. Little white top raider. Yeah, was, top top water magic. Know. It was funny. It's, it was chasing it like jaws. You could see the um, fins sticking out of the water. I missed the hit, but let's have a look. It it hit the top raider <clears throat> and screamed off, lying like a steelhead. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a oh. nice one. You know what? This is almost cradle worthy, dude. And on top water! That's not, that's not on good. top water! That is so cool. That is so cool. We're gonna get the cradle out for that one. Yeah, it's not really gonna work like that. Ah, oh, there we go. We got it. Oh, oh wicked. That's funny, eh? <laughs> Woo! Right on. Wow. Pretty nice one. It's like a big, big, big shallow bay, two, three feet deep, but it's dark bottom with boulders. And there's a little creek flowing in right there. Nice fish. Yeah, this one's all right. On the pink and white doctor spoon again. What a shock. Yeah. It's been giving you a pretty good fight too. Yeah. Hopefully where there's one there's more. We just we just pulled into the bay. Yeah. It's all wrapped up now. There. Oh, yeah. Unroll for me, honey. Oh she barely hooked. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let me grab it. Nice. Oh. <laughs> right on. Nice fish. Look at that. Beauty. Good catch. Mike just uh, just released a photo fish. <laughs> now. Oh my god. It's a gigantic no, one, we think. It's, it's a pretty nice one. It's not super giant, but. Oh, oh. no. Shoot. Bye bye. <laughs> Keep it running. Keep it running just for a second. Watch this. Oh, what, that, that doctor pushed, spoon's been just on fire. It pushed water, like just, oh, that fish was crazy, that one there. And then, and then when it hit the spoon, it just started running. 
There it is. <laughs> I think it's another decent one. Oh yeah. Oh my god. This is another good one. What a bay. Fish after fish. OMG. I haven't had a chance to fish. We just keep do taking more photos. Oh. We are on a spot. Big time. Big time. Oh. This is crazy. Okay, I'm going to try and unhook this quick. Big time. Where did... Uh, i got to find my... Joss Brothers. This one's going to require some surgery. Pliers. We'll use these ones. We'll do this fast. Oh, man. It's like a terrier on the end of my line. Okay. We're in another little bay here. There's a creek filtering in. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. That done. Uh, oh darn, pink doctor. Chunky monkey. That last one just wouldn't stop fighting. No. Oh, they have such big heads. Like a dog. <laughs> more cooperative. Oh, there is. Nice. So we just get to this spot. Looks great. Mike's just getting the boat ready. He hasn't launched yet. I'm like, you've been catching all the fish today. I'm going to get my line in before you get it. First cast, look what happened. On the doctor. Nice fish. This is a wicked spot, I think. I mean, first cast. Yeah, first cast. First of many, hopefully. Oh, he ate that, Doctor. Nice quality fish. Oh, not bad. Beauty. Can't even get it all in. Not bad for government hey, work. Hey, right on, buddy. Awesome. And again. Joe just got his fish in. It was, what was it, 41? 41. 41. And uh, so I got one. <laughs> it's like a little creek coming in right there. What's, what's different about this spot, it's not really compressed. It's just kind of wide open. Uh, like the mouth of the giant fish. I like the mouth of the giant fish. It, so normally these spots don't produce as well as the more compressed kind of spots. But I think the pike disagree in this case. This is an extreme close-up. Looking up, up there. Look. See that black thing up there? Yeah. It wasn't there a minute ago. So that's either a bear or a moose or something huh. up there. Big moose. He just stopped chewing. This one's on the uh, chartreuse five of the and red five of diamonds, Doctor. Swing it around to the upwind side. There's a great big network. There's a two creeks actually that flow in up there. And it's a big shallow flat right here, like three, two to four feet deep with tons of vegetation. And let me tell you something. The big girls are stacked. Stacked like cordwood. Barely lift it. It's a super nice fish. Right on. All right, I'm going to do a short tour of Milton Lake Lodge's Missakuma Lake Outpost Camp, located in far northern Saskatchewan. The camp itself is located at, in a, this lovely, just awesome protected bay at the north end of the lake. It's a beautiful sand beach here. There is no dock, so we've just been pulling the boats up at night, which is no big deal. Um, the boats themselves are 16-foot Lund SSVs uh, with split seats, four-stroke Yamaha 15-horse motors. On the GPS, roughly 18 to 19 kilometers an hour with the wind or with no wind. 
and a little bit slower when you're going against the wind. So all of these uh, A-frame sleep cabins are all the same. We'll have a look. This is the one that I've been staying in with uh, my boat partner, Joe. So, finished nicely inside with tongue and groove pine. There's four beds with uh, mattresses that are quite decent, no complaints whatsoever. Uh, there is electric lighting here. Uh, as I said, the camp is wired for electricity. There is a generator running. It's usually shut off late at night. So, and there's outlets here. I've just got a little camera charging right now so you can charge things. So here, on this side is the flush toilet. It's uh, rustic, but very functional and it worked fine. And on this side is a little vanity with a shower with obviously lots and lots of hot water and electric lighting in here too. Barbecue on the deck here. And here are the boys. That was Chuck, he's just leaving. That was our... I'm staying. And Joe is staying. Chuck is the camp manager. Best damn camp manager you're ever gonna find. That's the man who takes care of us. Right there. So there's a wood stove here. If you're here early in the season, you're probably going to use it. We did not because it was quite warm. So, yeah, it's a fairly big area. There's a giant electric deep freeze there. So if you have a lot of perishables, they can all go in there. A really large, this is propane apparently, really nice propane fridge. Like nicer than my fridge at home. And uh, worked really good. Propane uh, stove, hot and cold running water at the vanity. And lots of room to spread out. Yes, but Joe was just pointing out, there's little backup LED lights all around. Yeah, so if you want to get up in the morning and turn some lights on and not wake anybody up with the generator, you can do that. So there you have it, a short tour of Milton Lake Lodge's Missakuma Lake Outpost Camp. What are your goals on this trip, sir? One goal. Catch a fish bigger than my ass. That's a really tall order. There we go. Oh, that was almost bad. Did we get that on film? Order? Oh, I think this is a pretty good fish. I think Mike's excited. Uh, on the Papa Dock. How's it going? <laughs> and the red and white dock. On the doctor. He just slammed it. The doctor. Oh yeah. He, that doctor is so deep down his throat, he's doing an oral exam to that fish. So, may have to pull the motor right up and drift through. Getting down will be easy. Getting up will be. That's what she said. Wow, you look you like what's got that? two thumbs and had the best day ever. This guy. So, Mr. Sterling, um, how has your trip been so far? Trip has been awesome so far. Best pike fishing I've had ever. Uh, numbers are great. No. Okay, that's enough. Let's hear about the rod incident. What happened today? Well, I made the mistake of using a 20 inch leader and casting not looking behind me on a small boat and casting my rod and reel into the lake. So I have to go back sometime in the next couple of days to find it. That would be classified as blatant incompetence. Yeah. What was your reaction to that situation? I couldn't breathe. I was laughing so hard. <laughs>